Alrighty, ladies and gentlemen, we are back to work again, once again, and I'm thankful that the people are not all the way moved into this house, and I'm glad that uh, we're doing some vinyl plank today. It's going to be nice to do something uh, other than carpet or sheet vinyl, which I don't mind that stuff. It's just going to be a nice little job right here. Pretty simple layout and stuff. So let's turn around and see what we got going so, on. So right here is the front door. As soon as we walk in, uh, this is what we got. We're going to do living room. This little hallway here. Uh, right around here. That master bath is getting it. It's getting vinyl plank. All of this is laminate. We'll be tearing this out. Dining area is getting it. Right around here is the kitchen. This is uh, getting it. This is getting it. And this is getting it. So it's like a big horseshoe shaped uh, wrap around, I guess, there. So uh, anyway, today and tomorrow, what I got. got two days to do this, starting another job Monday that I absolutely cannot uh, put off at all. And also, I've got my work, my personal work, lined up for Saturday already. And I'm sure them people have already got their furniture and stuff like that moved out. So I cannot put that off either. So here we go. Two days. Let's get it. <sighs> kind of see what I did here. As I tore up all this laminate, I took all my full boards and put them in stacks as I was tearing them up. That way I, I don't just have a huge mess everywhere. And plus I stack it and it's out of my way. As I tear it up, I tore every bit of this up at one time. And now I pick it up and haul it all out at one time. I did not put the short boards in a pile with the big boards because that causes them to spin and you drop them and stuff like that. So I put the short boards together and all the long boards all together. Easier to deal with. I also wanted to point out that before I even started tearing this up, I brought all my vinyl plank in and got all my tools off the van. Anything that I'm gonna need today, I've got off and out of the way. That way, whenever I did tear my, uh, when I did tear everything up, I can bring it straight out and put it on the van, okay? I don't have to come out here and put it beside the uh, van in the grass on the yard, driveway or anything like that because I still have all my product on the van and I can't get it on there. So unload that first, come here, tear it up and get everything on the van directly. You're only handling it once and it's gonna save you a lot of time, therefore make you more money. Lunchtime. What can I do to do with the Greek bowl? Really good plant-based meal. All right, getting ready to start the install. I've got everything cleaned out, swept, vacuumed, and boards laid out. I'm fixing to start right here on this long wall, the one that goes here all the way to the front door because that's the most noticeable wall, which is going to be as soon as you come in the front door. Plus, it goes all the way from the front of the house to the back of the house. So, nice straight point to start from. Again, I got everything laid out so I can just work for a little while without getting up and down. Again, that is a time saver, which is a money maker. Okay, so once again, as we are doing more demo here today, uh, we got everything took up. Uh, one thing I also want to point out it is a time saver at the time of the install of the quarter round. As I'm pulling up my quarter round, obviously I pull nails and such, but I also see this here and that and that. I also will take my five and one, run around the edge of the wall and just scrape all that caulking off as I'm going. That way all the garbage is here on the floor and gets cleaned up before I install my new product. That way I don't have to clean all that stuff off of the new floor when I get it put down. So 
actually in this stuff right here, it's gonna be super nice because all the garbage just gets rolled up right in this uh, styrofoam that's on the floor now. So that works out really well. And also I'm not fighting uh, putting a ton of caulking in the cracks or anything like that because of the existing caulking there not allowing the quarter round to go all the way against the wall. So again, that is just another little time saver because I don't have to fuss with it going back. It's all over with now. I'm not cleaning up an extra mess after I'm done. This is the most efficient way to get that stuff up and out right now is take all the mess out with this. So any, any time of just little things like that, you know, it might save you a couple minutes there, uh, stacking all these up again. As I tear it up, this is not no extra effort. As I pull it up, I just put it in piles. Again, I got my small pieces and my big pieces in separate piles. No extra effort. Now it's all ready to take and haul out as I go out. And like I said, a few minutes here and a few minutes there, little time saving things here and there, here and there throughout the day. When you get to the end of the day, you can, you know, just say you wanted to add up all your little time saving things. You're looking at 30, 45 minutes, maybe an hour, depending on how many of those little time saving things that you did throughout the day. So is it worth it to do those little things? Yes, it's more efficient. It's less work on your body. And you know, I got all this stuff piled up. I don't have to worry about now standing there, either bent over, piling it all up or crawling around on the floor and piling it up. I did all that all in one motion as I tear it up, stick it on a stack, tear it up, stick it on a stack. So I'm not double handling it. And also it's saving me less work from going ahead and cleaning up the baseboards now as I'm doing it versus with the new flooring. So uh, I got this stuff done in here anyway, already is what I got done. Everything that I tore up this morning, I already got installed. And you can see that I'm tearing up now. Uh, the kitchen and stuff, I wanna get it all tore up, cleaned up and ready to go. I got the refrigerator out, I got the stove out, all that good stuff. Furniture back, I have yet to put quarter round back in here because I didn't bring any with me today. Tomorrow I'll bring my trim and do all my trim all at one time. And there you go again, that is another little time saver. Um, uh, doing everything all in once like that. Now, if I had to put furniture back and then move it back out and all that stuff, no, I would not do that. I would like to uh, do it as I go in that situation, but however, this is, there's barely nothing there. You know, I can slide the couch out. And as a matter of fact, I left the pieces of carpet underneath of the legs. That way I can just slide it right back out. Whenever I need to push it back. So. Those couple little pieces are nothing to just pull out and do. So anytime I can pull everything, uh, I mean, every bleh, anytime I can do all the steps in a continual processing without jumping back and forth from this project to that project, this project to that project, I'd much rather do that. I like to do all of everything all in one time. So that's the most efficient way to work and that's for makes you more money because it saves you time. Okay, dokily, archity, chokity. Here we are fixing to walk out the door. I got all this all cleaned up now. Uh, luckily that uh, laminate, it wasn't super thick. I mean, it's a little bit thicker than the vinyl plank, but not too awful bad. So the door jams, not too awful bad. See that? I mean, it's a little high, but yeah, what can you do, right? It was already cut. I didn't have to cut any of them, so I was glad about that. But anyway, this is all cleaned up, uh, swept and everything. We got it all out. Tomorrow we will come back, Lord willing, and uh, should be able to get this knocked out tomorrow. Now, we still got that uh bathroom right here to do which is not big five by five or something like that not big at all um uh, a utility room and it's got washer and dryer and stuff in it so that's gonna suck working by myself 
But you got another master bedroom over there that I showed you. So hopefully, hopefully we can get all of this took care of tomorrow and be done with this job. The bull nose is right there. Kind of like this waterfall method here, how it just kind of curves right up there like that. Um, yeah, maybe I'll get this all done tomorrow. Obviously I did not do the carpet. But anyway, I'm not gonna go picking through stuff. I could pick all day long on stuff like this. It's not my job, so I ain't concerned about it. Staples are out about an inch too far. Should be way back here. Nice rounded look right there. Gotta love that. Anyway, shut up, Ruben. It is five o'clock. Actually, it's like 5.05 or something like that. And I'm turning out the lights and fixing to get outy bowdy. So, I want to thank you guys once again for tuning in to these daily vlogs. And I hope you was able to learn a little bit of something, maybe to speed your process up, make you a little bit more money on your jobs. Cuck a doodle do. Make sure everything's locked up and I'm outy batty. Thank you guys for tuning in. Until next time, FBSB's out.